Hi, I'm checking in with an update on Savasana's kiss. Well, I'm on page 89, and it's pretty good. I mean, I'm not sure if it ranks, you know, with the great works of literature of all time, but it's good enough to where I was excited to take a yoga break and lay down on the couch and get back to reading it. So they're saying something, and there already has been one pretty hot yoga sex scene, so looking forward to more of that. And, you know, there is, you know, some nice yoga wisdom in there, which is also nice. And, I mean, the plot is, you know, like a little predictable so far, but there are, you know, some deep, dark secrets promised ahead, so I'll keep you posted. So, so far, I'm going to say that, yes, it's definitely worth reading, but I have to get further into it, so I'm going to check back in with you, but I'm not wasting any more time. Let me get back to reading Savasana's Kiss, a yogic love story. Vaguely, he became aware of her legs, slowly crisscrossing over his midsection, like ivy growing over him, parts of her weaving into parts of him, making him feel protected. On a cerebral level, he knew that her legs on him in this way was probably not yoga. Okay, so I'll admit that I'm a freakishly fast reader, but I'm still laying on the couch reading this book. I've decided to postpone the rest of my yoga challenges for tomorrow and just lay here and read Savasana's Kiss. For real, it's a really good book, and I'm enjoying it. And, I mean, yes, like, the plot is, you know, pretty, it's obvious, for sure. Like, you can kind of tell from the very beginning what's going to happen, but it doesn't make it any less enjoyable. I haven't felt the need to get off the couch and masturbate yet, but it's only 9.30. We'll see what happens. And let me tell you something else, because they're calling this book Fifty Shades of Yoga. I read that fucking Fifty Shades of Grey, like all three books, and I thought it was a bunch of bullshit, and I'll tell you why. I mean, yes, there were some hot sex scenes in there for sure, but overall, the message in those books was terrible, right? Because the message was basically like, if you take this really damaged guy and you love him enough, he'll become wonderful and normal for you. That's not true. And then, like, at the end of the third book, it was like, she fucking gets married to the guy and has a bunch of children, as if, like, that's the ultimate goal, to get married and have a bunch of children. Like, why didn't she go to fucking medical school? Those books were garbage. So, yeah, like, you can dress them up with, like, some kinky S&M sex, but in the end, it was, like, the same fucking bullshit message that women are just fed over and over and over. So, at least that's not what's going on in Savasana's Kiss. All right, everyone, I have finished Savasana's Kiss. I lay down on the couch this evening and had a marathon, like, two-and-a-half-hour reading session. And I enjoyed it. I think it's a good book, and I will recommend it. I mean, I wouldn't be calling it Fifty Shades of Yoga. I wouldn't compare it to the garbage that was Fifty Shades of Grey. Um, and I have, I guess I do have some criticisms, but I don't really want to say anything. Um, because I don't want to give away the ending. Although, I mean, you can fucking figure out what's going to happen from the first page. But it was it was fairly well written, and it was really enjoyable, and I, I definitely wanted to read it, and I did. I loved how everyone was a pretty good person and kept their karma intact, and yeah, I would totally, I would recommend it. I would. Maybe in a few weeks when you guys have all read it, then we can discuss the ending. Oh, all right. I'm giving everybody a month, a whole month, to read Savasana's Kiss. It doesn't take that long to read. A couple days. I'm giving you a month to read it, and then remind me, and in the middle of September, we can have a Savasana's Kiss book club. Okay, Savasana's Kiss book club in the middle of September. Read it now.